and welcome to Spring Mountain. We are about an hour outside of Las Vegas, Nevada, and over the course of the next two days, we are going to experience one of the coolest perks of buying a new Corvette. We are doing the Ron Fellows Performance Driving School for the Corvette Z06. The last time I was here was back in 2020 for the actual launch of the C8 generation of the Corvette, and you see just a sea of C8 Stingrays here everywhere. No Z06 is here though, a couple black wings. But right here is all the C8 Stingrays. There are so many Corvettes here. I don't think I've seen this many in a single place outside of the Bowling Green assembly plant. Oh, Blackwing. They just keep going. Got the mountains in the backdrop. And then there's the Cadillacs. We start the day with a classroom session. So there's breakfast available over at the clubhouse. I'm over here now at the white classroom. We have the white wristband on. Let's go see what it's like. Welcome here to the Ron Federal Performance Driving School. This is Ricardo Polinar, one of our five lead instructors. Let's all welcome Rico. He'll be leading the class for the next two days. He'll also introduce you to the instructors. And please relax. They're patient, they're knowledgeable, but what are you gonna find out? They really care that you learn. So take advantage, take advantage of them while you're here. I'm gonna turn it over to Rico and you folks enjoy your morning, all right? Thank you very much, appreciate it. We just finished the classroom session, which included an intro to the program, some overall safety stuff, and an outline of what we're gonna be learning starting today, day one, with some basic drills. We've got Stingray groups, we've got the regular C8s here, and then there is a group of six Z06 owners, so we'll be obviously in the Z06 group. There's gonna be a braking exercise, we're going to be a serpentine exercise and then we are going to be on the track a lot to experience today i'm excited i'm going to go find a z06 oh there's a rapid blue one with the z07 i think i have to take this one this is literally my exact spec does it have the same interior yeah i think it does exposed carbon z07 yeah this is like my exact car yep i'm claiming dibs on this one so we finished up our first in-classroom session, came out, checked out the cars, met the instructors, and picked our cars, some of the setup with seating, PDR, overview of some of the controls. And now we're doing the first little braking exercise just to try it out. 35 miles an hour, full ABS braking through a bit of water. Oh, we didn't want to use ABS. Oops. <laughs> That's my fault. I wasn't paying attention. To it. So we've got six Z06 owners in the school here. All the cars are Z07 equipped. It was interesting. They said they have about 190 Corvette Stingrays on campus here and they own them all there's i mean that's why they're all over the place but the proportion of z06s they only have like 16 or 17 of them so even ron fellows here at spring mountain has a hard time getting a z06 these all have the z07 package i think they're running carbon ceramic brakes the carbon aero but they are all running ps4s tires here just because cup 2rs are great but they wear too quickly the usable window is a little smaller too ps4s is more well-rounded well, this is interesting. We have no forward visibility. There is a sunshade. So the exercise is to try to use the side windows. Okay, so we're past that cone. Nice wide arc. We don't want to turn in too fast. Down to the blue cone over here. Looking ahead. Okay, we're gonna have to be careful. There you go, nice and straight. Look over to that cube, because that's where we're going next. That's how you know when to turn. That's weird. <laughs> Alright, great. Good exercise though. All right, now we are in a regular C8 Stingray with Justin, yep. about to hit the wet figure eight to try some sliding around, right? Yeah, and some yeah. of the driver modes, but first thing's first, what? Traction off. So yeah, hold that traction control button for seven seconds until you see ESC off. Alrighty. Once ESC off appears, you can let it go. ESC Perfect. off. We're still turning the wheel a little too quick. That's where you're coming out so wide here. Car control is good though. <laughs> a little quick with the counter steer. Okay. But, uh, but the throttle is good. The okay. Throttle is good. So I should be, wait till, now? Yeah. You're a little earlier now. All right. 
Oopsies. So yeah. Yeah, there you go. If you do a 360, I don't count it. Yep, there we go. So there you go. <laughs> <laughs> Too much oversteer. Yeah. We are halfway through the first day here at Ron Fellows, finishing up lunch break. This morning was three different exercises that we rotated through, teaching some of the fundamentals. The first one was a braking one, where we were in a straight line and then full on brakes to feel what that's like, and also adding in turning to avoid an obstacle, maneuvering, fueling that. And then we did what was called the serpentine, which we went around this cone layout to teach you vision, right? Looking ahead, looking to the sides. At one point, there was a sunshade blocking the entire windshield, which was a weird feeling, but it was to try to make you use your peripheral and look out the side windows, which is obviously very, very important on track. All of these things are supposed to translate to when we're on the track. And then we actually got to go out on the track doing some lead follow laps, learning the track layout, some of the fundamentals there, and then combine that with the classroom session, learning about the fundamentals of a turn, how to approach it, right? You're braking, you're turning, the transition, steering inputs, all of those things, how weight transfer works when you hit the brakes, obviously weight's moving to the front and turning and so forth. So it's really cool getting to learn in the classroom with the slides and the presentations and things like that and then going out and experience them in the cars on a controlled track surface it's honestly one of the coolest perks of buying one of these cars new right one of the big things is you get to do all of this in not your own car right they said it like do it on our cars we'll do launch control full braking when you're not paying for the tires and brakes and it's honestly when you buy a brand new corvette you get it heavily discounted i think for the z06 i paid a thousand dollars you have to prove that you bought a new z06 but all these c8 stingray owners are here too such a cool opportunity with that i'm looking forward to the afternoon where we're going to be on the track again now it's helmets hans and everything and you may hear in the background i think there's some skid pad figure eight drift scenarios that we'll get to play around with too. All right, time to go fast. are stupendous hauling you down from 120. Good job. We just coast through this turn here, touch the apex, I missed the curbing. Good job. That last lap, good improvement there. Follow me out here to the left. 
So we're wrapping up this hot lap session for the afternoon, three laps behind the instructor, and then we switch. Ton of fun, ton of fun. Improved, got a little bit quicker, but still have quite a bit to go. Still learning the track. I'm gonna ask about a couple of these lines. Currently on the cool down lap, we're getting talked through right now, which I am talking over the instructor, so I should probably listen. There'll be plenty more driving. I think almost all of tomorrow is like track driving too. So a fun first session, getting to really open up the Z06. It's been a awesome first day here at Ron Fellows. I already was asking, all right, what's the level one school and level two school? Cause I want to come back and just get more and more time. All right, so we just finished up some classroom time, some instruction, late apex, early apex, chatting with some of the instructors. And now we're back in the car for our last session on the track, starting with launch control. After launch control, it's back to lead follow, hot lapping on the track, which that's my favorite part of it. But it would always be fun to do some launch control in the Z06. So we go with the PTM Sport. We changed our PDR overlay to timing. And I've got the zero to 60 timer pulled up on the screen. Let's see what we can do. Let's see if we can do that sub three seconds, zero to 60. All right, ever done launch before? Yes. Oh, sweet. So you got any questions for me on the process? Uh, you want me to leave it in drive, right? Yeah, let's try it in drive first. I'll give you a chance to try it. Have you tried the double paddle D clutch thing yes. yet? Oh, okay, yeah, cool. Yeah. Cause I'm gonna, I was gonna surprise you with that on the third run. Yeah. Um, so cool, man. If let's you have any, don't have any questions, man. Yeah, you just break it the orange cones. Sounds good, thank right, you. Go for it. Ready? Foot all the way down on the brake. Give it the gas. <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful. See, that pulled a 0 to 60 in 3.3. Traction is definitely not optimized on this situation right now on this tarmac. My tires are currently normal temp too. So fun. But it's cool getting to try out launch control because the car just handles everything. Literally, you just foot all the way down on the gas and go. One thing to note with the, the Corvettes, you have to really really put your foot down so like if you see this little launch control press and hold brake like if i have pretty decent brake pressure it's not all the way there you got to have it all the way down full green bar and then you fully press the accelerator and let the rpm sit there and go so pretty fun launch control we'll do it a couple more times all right last track session make them nice and light take a deep breath breathe it all out concentrate. Let's see what we can do concentrate
Last time in this car. Good job, car. Thank you for letting me abuse you on track for two days. That was phenomenal. We're going to get out of the car, back in the classroom, get rid of the gear. We'll do some final thoughts. Woo! Any day you get to track a Z06 is a really, really good day. <laughs> Well, that was an absolutely exhilarating, educational, just overall amazing two days here at the Ron Fellows Performance Driving School at Spring Mountain, specifically doing the Corvette Owner School. I had the two day for the Z06, also had the Stingray Owners here. Just such an amazing experience from the track time, the classroom time, the exercises, the education, the video review, and also learning about the car, the various electronic systems, how to use PDR. So much in depth information that if you buy a Corvette, you absolutely have to do this because you get it for a thousand dollars it's a no-brainer into two days i probably spent a thousand dollars in tires brakes and fuel right come do it if you buy a corvette utterly amazing experience i now want to come back again learned a lot improved had a ton of fun the track is just always a fun time especially in a car like the z06 i hope you guys enjoyed this glimpse at what it was like it was just the highlights for me my favorite parts there's so much over the course of the two days that i did not even film and cover because i wanted to take it in but if you come here this is something that you would expect to experience at the Ron Fellows Driving School as a Corvette owner. Utterly amazing. Thanks for watching.